What up? It's me again, Wall Street, ready to talk about some hoops and some hoopers. And today, I want to talk about the guy who is two days into college, but three lectures behind, Mr. Jared Dane McCain. Because Jared might be three lectures behind, but the Sixers are six games behind 500, and it has been an abominable season for them so far. And I don't know if they can turn around. I I really don't know, because I personally do not trust the health or the durability, I should say, maybe, of Joel Embiid. I do not trust the health and or durability of Paul George. And it just does not seem like this hole that is being dug is going to be easy for them to get out of, regardless of what they do. So Tyrese Max is also out now. So the Sixers are sitting at one and seven on the season, which is 15th, AKA last in the Eastern Conference. They are tied for the worst record in the NBA with the Utah Jazz, the Milwaukee Bucks, who, you know, had, uh, have also been struggling a lot. Uh, They are two and seven. So the Eastern Conference is fairly wide open still. So the hole that they need to dig themselves out of isn't as big as it might seem right now. Um, being just eight games into the season, they have time. They have plenty of time. But it is just incredible to me how much of a switch it has been since last season. Obviously, they have not been healthy. But it just seems like they might not get into that end of the playoff spot. You know, like they might be in the play in and they might not make it into the playoffs. So I, I'm pretty sure they were in the play in last year too, but I think they finished the regular season as like the seven or eight seed. And then they wind up getting in, I believe as the seven seed and then lost to the Knicks uh, in the playoffs. So it's going to be interesting, but I want to talk about Jared McCain because Jared McCain does look pretty good so far. And I feel like he's probably going to, you know, climb his way up that rookie ladder as we kind of move closer Towards midseason, the all-star break, I think a lot more people are going to be talking about Jared McCain, especially if the Sixers remain, you know, unhealthy and they don't have their stars playing. You could probably, you know, put your bets on Jared McCain playing a lot more minutes throughout the season. So they had a pretty decent game against the Lakers last night, lost by 10. So it wasn't a good team effort, but Jared McCain played 31 minutes made four threes, shot 44% from three for 18 points. Um, You know, he's not turning over the ball that much. I mean, he's really not playing a ton. Like, he played 31 minutes last night against the Lakers, played 12 minutes against the Clippers uh, the game before, and only played three minutes against the Suns the game before that. So... It seems like he's not really getting in unless it's like, you know, uh, a game that's kind of being blown out or they're down 20 or whatever. Like, I mean, the game with the Lakers last night didn't really feel close, even though it was a 10 point game. You know, as the result, it it did not feel close. I'm pretty sure the Lakers were up by like nearly 20 at, at a certain point. So and with the amount of talent that the Sixers have available to them right now, If you're down 20, it's going to be very hard for you to mount a comeback. And, like, anything's possible in the NBA. All those guys that are in the league can play, and they can make good stretches and do everything they got to do to come back. But it's just it's incredibly difficult when you don't have someone like Joel Embiid or Paul George or Tyrese Maxey suiting up for you on any given night. It's it's just going to make things incredibly difficult. So... Jared McCain's he's he's doing well right now. 8.1 points per game so far, shooting 43% from the field. Um, you know, he's he's playing well and he's making the most of the opportunity that he has. 
And I like his demeanor on the court. I think he plays with confidence. He's going to take shots, and he doesn't care if he goes over for 12. He's going to continue to shoot because that's really his game. Is he's, a, he's not just a shooter. He's a pretty shifty guy. But he, you know, is also just... I feel like a good player comp for him um, is like Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon, I feel like, has a lot of similarities to Jared McCain's game. And I think Jared McCain can be very similar to that. They kind of move similarly. I feel like the way they shoot the ball is fairly similar. And Jared McCain's not, like, scrawny either. Like, dude's 6'2", but he's, like... I wouldn't say he's, like, incredibly strong, but he's, like, 195. So... 6'2", 195 is pretty decent. You're going to be pretty strong in the court. You're going to be able to bully some smaller guards that are on you. So I think that play style aligns a lot more with Eric Gordon. I remember him going into the draft. A lot of people were comparing him to Emmanuel quickly. And I just don't think Jared McCain has that same type of play style. Like Emmanuel quickly is a little bit like he's like controlled chaos right similar to Tyrese Maxey like they're just so fast and so quick that they they move so rapidly that sometimes it looks like a disaster play and then they just make the shot anyway Jared McCain seems a little bit more controlled a little bit more finesse but I don't think he's going to score at the same pace that either of those guys do so it's going to be interesting to see what happens but you know he's shooting 33 percent from three so far you know, not bad, not bad. So, but like I said, he's only getting minutes when it's really like, you know, he's only getting minutes in situations where there's no one else to play and they're down, right? And they've been down a lot in, you know, the early part of the season because they just have not been a good basketball team. But he has yet to miss a free throw. So that's impressive. He's got great shooting mechanics. He's, he's going to be a really good shooter in the league. That's the number one thing that he has to translate from college to NBA. He was a 40 plus percent shooter from three in college and, you know, was ACC all rookie as a freshman. He's, he's a really good player. And I think he's just going to continue to uh, continue to develop. I know a lot of people, a lot of Sixers fans were mad that the Sixers didn't take Dalton connect at 16th and, you know, Dalton connect obviously got picked the pick after by the Lakers and, you know, I'm, I'm not mad at it. I mean, Jared McCain, I think, is going to be a really good player. It's not going to be super quick, you know, like everyone's assuming Dalton Connect is going to be. But Dalton Connect is going to struggle here and there, too, in his rookie year. I mean, it's just it's the virtue of being a rookie. I mean, a lot of people are saying that Zach Eady is like the most NBA ready besides Dalton Connect. And Zach Eady has games where he struggles. And the guy's 7'4". He's massive. So... You know, it's it's going to be an up and down season, but the Sixers got to figure something out. And if they're not going to figure something out, they got to make trades or something. So they probably shouldn't trade Jared McCain. I wouldn't advise that, but you never know. Some some teams will leverage their young players in order to really make a push for the playoffs. But I heard some you know some rumors that they're trying to send Jared McCain to Houston for Cam Whitmore or uh, Dylan Brooks. And I'm like, I, I don't know why. Either of those would make a lot of sense, but, you know, Daryl Morey's always got some sort of trick up his sleeve, so I don't really know what he's planning to do. But Jared McCain, good player. He's looking nice. He's uh, he's going to be fun to watch in the league, I think, in the next couple of years. So we'll see what happens for the former uh, California Mr. Basketball, Jared McCain. Straight out of Sacramento, Sac Town. He's going to be a good player. He's going to be a good player for sure. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think about the Sixers? What do you think about my guy, Jared McCain? Do you think he's going to be a star in this league someday? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like the video, please give me a like. Hit that subscribe button. Do all that. If you did not like the video, please feel free to leave me a dislike. Put some comments down below. Let me know what's really going on, how you really feel. So catch you guys with the next one. Peace.